A warm welcome back to Afternoon Express. So Clem has decided to make a dish that's totally uh, for me today because of all my corny jokes. We're making a loaded corn soup on the Absolutely. show today. And it is delicious and it sounds amazing. So we've kind of taken everyone through the idea of what we're making, throwing a whole bunch of stuff into a soup. But take with us through finesse. this. You know, with finesse, obviously, with fun. Take us, take, take us through the recipe. Okay, so it's going to start off with any good soup starts off with onions. Yes. I was going to ask Cutting you to chop face. some up for me. Do you want to chop some onion for me? I can. What do you want me to do with these onions? Just chop them all up? Rough chop. It's going to get blended in the end. So I've got some onions in there already. I just need a little more. Cool. And then what I'm using is some coriander seed. I'm keeping it whole because, like I said, we're going to blitz it up in the end. Cool. So keeping that whole, that's going to go in. That's going to become really fragrant. I've never seen actually coriander being added uh, in such an early stage of something like this. Well, what would happen is, like we always talk about it, onions, you've got to cook them down. We yeah. don't have the time to cook it all the way down, so what you would really do is cook it about for 15 minutes, let it get really golden brown mm -hmm. and caramelized, and then you add your cumin, your coriander seed. Oh, I see. I'm going to cool. go with... onions done. Awesome, good job. Thank Can you. I get some garlic? Sure. Which is like the heart and soul of any good food. Are we blending it? We're going to roughly chop it. Oh, no. I don't want to... Uh, okay, uh, fine. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay. It's fine, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, so that's going. Let's just say my day's not going to go well tonight. I'm going to give it a toss so the onions don't burn. Garlic's in there. I'm going to chuck a whole chili in. Mm -hmm. And we're going to fish that out before we blend it, okay? Cool. I'm not going to hurt anyone. Garlic, hoi. Oi. It's in. Great. So what's going to happen now is that's going. Mm -hmm. We've got some celery. Celery adds like a nice savory note to the soup. Yes. And also adds a bit of body to it as well. It does. Color, etc. So. so I'm going to get that in there. And then we've got some corn, fresh corn, which is Yum. we've taken off, off the... The cob. The cob. So you've actually uh, physically yourself taken that fresh corn, chopped it off. You yes. haven't boiled it, you haven't steamed it, no. you've done nothing to it. And you could, if you wanted to, just use um, frozen corn, but I want to go with a fresh one. I mean, it's yes. in season now, totally. so it's amazing. amazing. I'm going to keep some aside because cool. we're going we're gonna to char those. Ooh, so yummy. the corn goes in. And the idea of obviously charring all of these things together is you're just getting all those flavors to kind of uh, come out. Developing amazing flavors, thing. definitely. So what I've got here is some um, water. And I'm going to use some stock as well. Again, oh. just to develop so much more flavor. Stock goes in. Mm, which stock are you using? I'm using a chicken stock. We spoke about this before. Chicken is like kind of like one of those things that everything tastes like chicken, there apparently. So you put chicken stock with anything, it'll work out quite well for you. So. And by the, the magic of TV, it's cooked down. It's oh, my word, that. Cam, that's, you're that's like crazy. a genius. So what I'm going to do now is just add some cream to it. OK. Just give it a bit of body Ooh, as well. I spoke yum. about the body. OK. And we're just going to get it all in there. And then imagine again that's reduced slightly, developed a little bit. Now we are going to go into our blender. Blender. Cool. You can use any kind of food processor at home that you've got. That's Absolutely. always a good idea. And I know um, soups tend to be like overlooked. Mm -hmm. But I promise you, this is not one you're going to want to overlook. It is so good. And the flavors that you're throwing in there, it's already delicious. I mean, I've already seen a whole bunch of ingredients that I it love is. being added into here. And what's going to happen is that's going to go till it's nice and fine. Cool. The reason we're going to do it nice and fine is because everything else is crunchy in this dish. Awesome. So let me get that off. The next thing we want to do is that corn that we kept aside, mm -hmm. we're going to char it. Ah, Again, see. we're going to bring some of that delicious corn flavor through and it's going to be nice and hot, nice and smoky. I'm going to need a little bit of oil from you first. Cool. Here you go. You want to drizzle? Oh, oh, look at that. What finesse. You said so, we're going to make this dish with a bit of finesse, so definitely. I'm just helping you out there. So the, while that's busy happening, I want to talk through why it's actually called a loaded corn soup, right? Oh, so we've got our corn chips. Because mm -hmm. Mexican food and corn chips, got to have it, right? I've got some spring onions. And then what's, whoops, what's quite outrageous is we're going to take ava. We're not going to slice it. We're going to actually open it up and char it on a griddle oh, bag. What Scoop does that it do? Just adds like an extra spin to avocado? And it makes it slightly smoky again, okay. which just adds to the holiday dish. So at the end, it's not just a soup. You're getting a bowl of, like, texture. Okay crazy is going to be amazing. That's all going to happen a little bit later on. So if you guys want to start cooking with us or find this recipe, it's on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za as we can find this delicious recipe. And also the shopping list is there too. So next time you're in the stores and wanting to do all your grocery shopping, you can buy all the ingredients and prepare because I know winter is just around the corner and soups are so delicious. So why not make a loaded Mexican soup? Back to the couch with Bonnie. What an absolute inspiration, man. I really like to see young guys who are so passionate about what they do because if you really are passionate about it, the love of your work comes first before it starts becoming all about the business stuff. So really inspiring guests on the show today. I hope you guys are enjoying the show so far. We're still cooking in the kitchen with us over here. Clem and myself are making the ultimate Mexican soup. And it's going to it's a corn soup, which we're kind of adding a Mexican twist to, which is really delicious. So all that's left basically is to do that step, which you kind of have been building up to now, charring our avocado and then throwing everything together. 
That's right. So I've got the avo. All I've done is kept the skin on, taken the pup out, and okay. I'm just going to brush it with a little bit of oil just to help that charring action happen. Okay. That's going to go onto our hot grill. Oof. So we were always told like not to put avo or not, not to yeah. heat avo because it's it just bitter. soft fruit and it's yeah. bitter and it brings out the bitterness and then obviously, yeah, it's just mushy then. So what we're looking for today, today we are looking for that bitterness. We want a little bit of that charring okay. to come through. Because the corn is so sweet, all the other flavors are kind of sweet in its essence, so. Exactly, but still never give me pizza with the avo on before it goes in the oven. Oh yeah, no, please, that's, no, that's, that's a no, 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 no. Although I've never seen that happen just yet, so hopefully that's never happened to but you, But they right? still ask you, do you want but your it's the same avo thing, put it's on? the same thing, I've never wondered why people eat Hawaiians, because putting cooked fruit on a pizza just never, it's never, it blows my mind, okay, no, I never I, understand. I, I, I don't mind that. Oh gosh. But the avo, the avo, you and no, I, You and I are going to have to be great friends, I think, because we'll live in the same spot, but eat different <laughs> things. You'll eat all the coriander, and I'll eat all, so you can do all the cooked fruits, and I can have the rest. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a coriander oil. Great. You know I'm learning to love it. So you a mountain a... of coriander goes yes. in. Okay. Some garlic. And, and then some also what coriander you can grow in your garden. It is. Mm. And they grow, it grows so well. It does. It's so, like weeds. Taste Delicious good, sweets. Yeah. Just put a little yeah, bit yeah. of salt in there just to season it up. The avo's <laughs> going. I can see that already, that the avo's changing colour. On the outside, which, oh, there we go. You're getting that nice char feel. I'll put that back. Mm. Shouldn't have disturbed him. I just broke my own rule. Never disturb oh, sorry, the food. Sorry, avo I'm going to disturb you. So that's going to go. Do you want to pour some more olive oil in there for me? Sure. So what I've done is I've thinly sliced some spring onions. I just tossed that with, you a little more. Okay. With um, some red chili to add a little bit more heat. I actually think these avos are done, so I'm going to just take them off, be careful. What yes, I'm going to ask you go. to do is, you've got to spoon your side. what this looks like, so you can kind of see there, you want, that, you want that blackened little bit. The more griddles you can get on your pan, the better, because you have more little black griddles, which is amazing. Cool, so if I can ask you to start taking those out. So you've got two bowls, this is the two for now. So you can put your two black bowls there for me. Okay. So you're almost going to make this soup separately, so if I just scoop out a whole avo like this. Yeah, scoop out the whole, the whole half. The whole half. Okay. There we go. I will do one as well. And that goes down first. Let's swap sides. Cool. That goes first in your bowl. And that's going to be oh kind of the base. Wait, that's, no. the, that's like the showstopper. It's so the... hard work. Okay, there we go. You've got to work for your dinner, eh? There we go. Cool. That's so that's it. So next, you've cool. got that. Hang on to that. So next is some um, the spring onion and chili. Yum. There we go. You've added chili into the actual soup itself, now you're adding more chili, haven't you? But I've taken that chili out, the one that I cooked with earlier yes, in the okay. soup. Okay. The reason for doing that is because I just wanted the flavor. I didn't actually want the heat. Ah. Chilies have flavor, not just heat. Okay, cool, I get you. Ladling in the soup. Oh, yummy, it looks so delicious. So, what I'm going to ask you to do is you want to do a little drizzle of your coriander oil? I'm sure that I can I'm do I'm going to do a sprinkle of our charred corn. Well, I've just poured your oil in. Okay, there we go. There we la, go. La, la. Oh, and all these colors are so delicious. It looks amazing. There's a drizzle over, right? Yeah. You can go as light as you want. I know for you it'll be really like, there we go. That's enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then some sour cream. Whoa. Oh. Well, someone's going to... Someone's going to have like fresh breath today. That's all for we're going week. for. <laughs> some radishes. cream you've thrown out of double thick cream or sour cream you've got Sour there. cream. Sour cream and basically food goes so Radish. well together. And let's see what else do we need. Oh, how about you to give it a... Okay, the charred corn. It's in there. Oh, is it in there? Okay, cool. A squeeze of lime. Oh, yum. So I see what you've done here. You've almost made the soup separately with all the cream and all exactly, the other flavors yeah. together. And then you've to add all these other crunchy elements on top of that, which you're going to then put into the final dish to add all the different elements. And then the final step. Which I want you to do. And give it a crunch. You can go for it. Just, but then some, oh, luckily I've washed my hands. So just, how many do I put in? Just like this. Remember the time I gave you a measurement? No. You just go for it. Yeah, like that. Is that enough? Yeah. This is like the ultimate soup because there's so many textures in there, like you said. Yeah. So many flavors. Oh, amazing. So you guys can just almost create your own little flavors, put it them is. all together, make it nice and dynamic. This is why it's called the ultimate corn soup. And we've made it right here on Afternoon Express. You've seen how it looks. All you have to do is go and find the recipe on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. There you can also find the shopping list for these delicious recipes and take that with you to go buy with your groceries next time you want to cook these amazing dishes at home. Now, by now, you sure know that if you're looking for a brand new local and international quality entertainment like Saving with, Jenny, uh, with Jamie, comedy stand-up Brooklyn 99 -Nine, and Jam Sandwich. You can find something for everyone on SABC3. We'll be right back after this. How are you doing, YouTube fam? Thank you so much for watching, sharing, and commenting. We love hearing from you, so be sure to keep up to date with all things Afternoon Express by clicking the subscribe button right here.